results of you have um, discovered uh, low fishing uh, and one of the benefits of low fishing one of the good, the good things about low fishing for me is um, that you can just have a, have a little bit of tackle um, chucked in built with your car you don't need to have any planning bait and everything the day before uh, you can just get out whenever you want all you need is your rod bag net to fuel those fuel tools and away you go um, but the key for it for me is uh, okay, the key for enjoyment for me is um, is actually um, travelling light. It's not always easy. I see a lot of photos and um, videos on, on the internet. Uh, people carrying two or three rods with them, blow rods, uh, big rucksacks, like, like they're in military with these big, huge rucksacks, and it's just that's just not enjoyable. I know when you're out all day, you've got to try and think of all different scenarios and things. Uh, and it's not always easy to take every low, but just just try and try and tackle down. And um, when I when I get out ultralight fishing, um, I used to use this bag. I used to use this bag. I still use it a lot for my pike lows. My Aldi low bag, cheap. Tenner from Aldi, but I tend to fill that with everything: big lows, food and drink, tools, and it can be heavy. And it can be it can be uh, hard work. Um, but with my ultralighting. Try to um, try to scale down, and I, bought, I recently bought a new a new uh, rucksack, um, and it's a it's a gunky rucksack. I presume there's many similar ones, but I gave this one a try. Uh, it's a decent size. You get get quite a few um, loads inside it. But it's also not not too bad on it. And you can see there, you can spin it round, sort your gear out. Uh, Get your, get your lures out, put it back and all while you still get your rod in your hand, you're not going to faff about bending down, putting, putting your bag down, putting it back up again. Yeah. So that for me is a, a, a huge a huge bonus. And um, we'll have a little, little closer look at the bag. Okay, so here's this rucksack. Straight away you can see. Uh, brilliant, you've got the, your little little velcro pouch. Put your pliers on. I mean I, I don't really use the big pliers when I'm ultra lighting, but you just never know if you're gonna catch a pike and Looks be quite far down, so that comes down to having those. Yeah, but you've got you've got three main compartments on it: a small one, medium, and then your big one at the back. Now the small one, I imagine you can, you can get a low box for it, but typically what I've been using, I either put my, my video camera in there, yeah, it fits nicely in there, a small camcorder, perfect in there, a few spare batteries and things, so I'm not carrying two bags. Or um, I've also found it, it nicely fits a, a steak pasty. Um, a couple of Mars bars or something. Um, normal size though. Don't get extra. Don't get the double dual Mars bars. They're too long. But uh, it fits. A, it fits. Fits a steak pie in there. It'll fit. Fit the Ginsters pasty in. So quite good there. It won't fit a bottle of pop in that part. Uh, or also, I've even used it when I put all my um, my scissors and my traces and things like that. So it's a perfect little front little pouch. I don't really know what they're for. I won't even bother with that because I'd be frightened that something would fall out. Um, the main one that I'm using uh, for my low box, and that's all I've been taking. Small low box, uh, and it's perfect. Um, I can't remember dimensions, but I'll put dimensions in um, in the description below of, of what, what size box I've got for this. Now, just quickly on the boxes. Now, this low box, I forgot where I got it from now. This low box, like I say, I'll put dimensions on so you know what size to get. This is a proper low box. It only cost a few quid, three or four quid, something like that, but it's got removable compartments so you can swap and change. However, I was I recently in uh, B&Q. Um, B&Q had got a, so I've got a load of boxes of these, and uh, I think they're two, well, three, three pound. Uh, this box hasn't got removable um, storage bits, but it's for, you'll find it in the screw section. You had screws, um, raw plugs, wall plugs, so it was a cheap little set uh, I needed some, some wall plugs anyway so I put in a curtain pole up recently but what I found perfect this one is it fits your, your two inch shads in perfect and it fits your tiny little salmos and things in little little uh, little chub lows and they fit in just nice, you can fit a couple in it's not too heavily packed, spinners in, it'll fit a yogi in fits all these tiny little trout lows so when I'm trout fishing 
instead of having to mess about changing my box and taking them all out of that one to put them all in, I've now got two boxes and away I go. Easy as that. So we made an ultralight box. You can see it's got a, a good variety of lows in. Um, anybody who uses more than that, that amount of lows in a day, fishing, canal fishing or river fishing, um, then you're doing something wrong. If you're fishing from a boat, you won't be taking a little rucksack. If you're fishing over, over a big, in a big lake, you won't be using something like this. So you'd be able to take a kitchen sink with you and give you options. But fishing small rivers and canals and even small ponds and things, that's all you, all you really need is a selection. You've got very soft, few soft loads that I know work. Spinner, few cranks, away you go. Shallow cranks, deep cranks, and, and that's it. I've pretty much covered. I've got what else do I, what else do I need? Um, and you can you can fit a meal in there, and that's all you need. Now you've also got a, a long a long compartment that runs a full length. Um, and in here, scales. I found them. Um, various other soft plastics, and I, I find it's easy just to keep these ones in the bag. Leave them in the bag, it saves them getting mixed up because they're a little bit longer. It gives me the option there uh, if I wanted to, let's say, if I saw there was some pike about, I might put that one on, or when I eventually get my icing gear and I go fishing for Xander, that'll be perfect for those. Uh, but I've got a few options with, with soft lows. All my traces are just, you could be neat and get a, a wallet, uh, a trace wallet, but I, I just put them in plastic bags, various sizes, various traces, where you go. And I can get all sorts in here. Surprising how much is in this spare apparel just in case. All my clips and things. Yeah, big forceps. Another spool of heavier braid just in case. Some more of those. Um, trace wire. Got all my bits for making traces and things. Crimping sticks, with everything there. Um, the, other, the other little uh, um, bonus I found from BQ. Uh, same section as where the, the screws and, and wall plugs were. Uh, you'll find a little box like this, and it's got um, it's got small nails, and you know like um, like like the pins and things like that. And it's a pound, it's a pound box. And it's got it's got various size little nails in, perfect for putting. I don't know, hanging up a um, well, little little pins and tacks, various things anyway, various sizes. But you open it up. I think it's absolutely bob on for putting all your, uh, your um, jigs in. I'm, you see most of these, I've got a few, I've got many sizes so you'll fit some small ones in. But most of these are 2 0 and 3 0 and they fit in. And I've got what I've got there 2, 5, 10, 20. I've got, I've got either 25 plus uh, various jigs in there so I could, I will, I will swap and change there and get some better size mixes in there. That is perfect and that'll just stay in my, in my uh, rucksack no matter what I'm doing. So I've always got some spare jigs on it, that's as big as it is. It even fit in your pocket. I mean, I've seen some people have, have, have in the big, well, I haven't even got them, but bigger bigger boxes than this, full of jig heads. And I'm, I think, surely you don't cart them about, all right, if you've got them at home in your, your garage or whatever, but um, that's perfect for carrying about, not too many. Uh, and like I say, it with a pound, so I've got a load of little small nails that I can use. I've got a little low box for a pound, so sometimes you can buy the, the expensive stuff proper tackle boxes and sometimes you can pick up little things that just just make your life so easier. Uh, you can put your bottle of pop in there and away you go, that's it, you're travelling light and that's a good thing about this this low bag. Yeah, simple. It's waterproof. Yeah, we're out of the day and it, it was absolutely raining. Um, oh, a little tiny bit of water got in, nothing too bad. Uh, I mean how it'll last over time, I don't know. I've only had it a, a few months, but so far it's brilliant. So, um, get something similar to that. Away you go, this is just this is just easy to pick up all the time. You just get away and on you go, like you say. Um, always got loads in. If I'm off trouting, I can just take exactly the same thing. Uh, just unzip that one and swap my boxes. Swap my small box and that's me, ultra lighting. I've got everything I need. Um, ideally, like that, on that having two boxes theme, ideally, if you've got a few bags or you've got a few, if, you, if you've got enough money to have a couple of sets of scales or you've got a couple of, enough money to have uh, a couple of sets of pliers, a couple of sets of forceps, all that sort of thing, you're not having to forget, you're not going to forget things then, uh, which is something I do when I'm swapping and changing bags. And at the moment I'm pretty good set up with this where I know that 
if I went if I went ultralight piking or I went ultralight trouting or chubbing, I've got I've got enough in. I've just got to swap swap round. Um, just got to swap round my uh, small boxes. That's what I went to say. So yeah, yeah. So keep light. Try not to get too um, bogged down with gear. Yeah. Remember, you're out to have fun. So it's not fun, especially when it starts getting warmer and you can't. You you, you might be walking four or five mile. Yeah. It's not fun carrying all that gear. So yeah. Um, I imagine there's other there's other other brands about. Um, other bags similar to this, but this is the one I've used it so far. It works so. Um, yeah. Stop cutting those big rucksacks about. <laughs>